Hello, I am Krishnamurti Pammi. In this video, we are going to learn how to identify potential problems in a project or a plan and how to develop countermeasures that are viable and effective to address these problems on a project using a technique called Process Decision Program Chart or PDPC. When we manage mission critical projects like rocket launches by space stations or when we manage large and complex projects, the price of a simple failure is quite high. It is important in those situations that we systematically identify what might go wrong in a plan and we develop viable and applicable countermeasures to offset or prevent those problems. Process Decision Program Chart, also called PDPC, helps us address such situations effectively. PDPC helps us identify what might go wrong in a plan systematically and develop viable and relevant countermeasures on the ground. Thereby, by using PDPC, you can either revise the plan to avoid the problems or be ready with the best response when a problem occurs. Let us learn how to construct process decision program chart now. To construct process decision program chart, we must first develop a tree diagram for the proposed plan. You can refer my video titled Get to the Specifics using a tree diagram. You can click on the information card displayed on the top right corner and learn how to construct a tree diagram using an example. In summary, a high level tree diagram shows overall objective at the first horizontal level. At the second horizontal level, we will outline the main activities required to complete or accomplish this objective. At the third horizontal layer, we will outline the tasks required to complete the main activities listed in the second layer. So this is the first layer, this is the second layer and the third layer. So the third layer consists of list of tasks required to complete the main activities listed in the second layer and the second layer consists of list of main activities required to complete the overall objective stated in the first layer. This is how at high level a tree diagram looks like. Now for each task on the third level brainstorm and come up with what could go wrong. You may use a sample checklist. If we wanted this task to fail, how could it go wrong? What this task is supposed to do? Is there something else that it might do instead or in addition? Have we allowed any margin for error? What assumptions are we making? What has been our experience in similar situations in the past? When we use such list of questions during our brainstorming session, we can actually come up with list of risks. These risks are relevant to the task on the ground. So these risks provide us what might go wrong in future and these are identified by the team on the ground using brainstorming session for the tasks that are identified at the third level. Now let us review all the risks and eliminate any risks that are improbable or whose consequences would be insignificant. That is, we will be eliminating improbable or insignificant risks from the fourth level. Thus, we show only the potential risks or problems at the fourth level. Now, for each potential risk or problem identified at the fourth level, let us brainstorm within the team and come up with possible countermeasures or risk mitigation or preventive actions. These actions are associated with the corresponding risks. That means we have multiple actions to address identified risks. So whenever this risk happens, we undertake this list of actions to prevent or remedy these risks. That means we show the countermeasures or countermeasure actions at the fifth level to prevent these risks. Decide how practical each countermeasure action is. We will use the letter X and O. We will mark the letter X for the actions which are practically not feasible or viable when we weigh against the criteria cost, 
time required, ease of implementation and effectiveness. We will provide the letter O for the actions which are practically feasible and viable. That is, when we weigh against the criteria, cost required, time required, ease of implementation and effectiveness, the tasks with label O are practically viable tasks to mitigate the risks identified at the fourth level. This is what is PDPC chart. So, at the first level you have goals, at the second level you have main activities, at the third level you have list of tasks, at the fourth level you have potential problems or potential risks, at the fifth level you have practically possible and viable measures or list of actions to prevent these risks from happening. So this is the whole summary of process decision program chart. Thus, process decision program chart helps identify what might go wrong in a plan under development in a systematical manner. It develops countermeasures to prevent or offset the problems identified. By using PDPC, you can either revise the plan to avoid the problems or be ready with the best response when a problem occurs. Thus, on mission critical projects or large scale projects, process decision program chart that is PDPC technique helps us identify what might go wrong on a project down the line and come up with relevant and cost effective counterbalancing actions to prevent these problems. I thank your interest to learn and I look forward to add more value add sessions in future. Thank you.